Could Maslamat's escape have been prevented? Of course. It should never have happened. The COI has listed out the specific lapses, the toilet window unbarred, the guards allowing Maslamat out of their line of sight, the weaknesses in the fencing, and the unclear lines of command over security. But the basic problem was the mindset of those running the Whitley Road Detention Center. Because ISD's focus was on gathering intelligence and rehabilitating detainees, the detention center regime and physical security were different from Changi Prison. And because past detainees like the communist sympathizers were not likely to try to escape, and there had never been an escape from ISD detention, even so, even when Maslamat failed to emerge from the toilet, the guards thought that he might have collapsed inside the toilet rather than that he might have run away. They wanted for him. ISD knew that Maslamat was a high-risk detainee, and the superintendent of the det detention center had warned his staff to watch him closely. But unfortunately, the superintendent and his staff still let their guard down and allowed complacency to set in. The MHA minister and the director of ISD will now have to rectify all the operational weaknesses identified by the COI and correct the underlying mindsets which led to these specific lapses. But let us see things in perspective. ISD is our lead agency fighting against terrorism. It has done sterling work keeping Singapore safe. ISD has won international respect for its vigilance and competence in detecting and detaining the J.I. terrorists in 2001, before they could set off truck bombs in Singapore and destroy lives and property. Many security agencies from the U.S. and Europe have come to compare experiences with ISD and study our methods to combat Islamist terrorism. These agencies have been especially impressed by our success in winning the support of our Muslim community for the war against terrorism and by the religious rehabilitation efforts of our ulamas to try to guide the detainees back onto the right path. These achievements are the result of years of patient effort and they reflect the professional competence of the leadership of the ISD and the senior officers of MHA working under DPM Wong Kan Seng and the director of ISD. And that is why I have confidence in them. ISD officers understand more than anyone else the seriousness of Maslamat's escape and its implications for Singapore's security. They will recover from this setback, press on with their mission, and rebuild public confidence in them. I ask Singaporeans to continue giving them your full support, as you have done in the hunt for Maslamat. Mr. Speaker, sir, we demand high standards of integrity and performance from every public servant, every MP and office holder. We assess them rigorously and objectively and apply disciplinary rules fairly and impartially to all of them. This is what Singaporeans expect from their government and this is what we have delivered and will continue to strive to achieve. This trust between the government and the people is crucial. Hence, we've always been honest and forthright with Singaporeans when something goes wrong. We will learn from the escape of Maslamat and recover from it. Let's pull together, grow from this experience, and emerge stronger from this. Mr. Leland.